With so many different credit cards out in the market and the majority of them only offering 1 to 1.5% on all other purchases, the best and most strategic thing to do is to get a 2% flat rate credit card for those times when your other cards fall short. So in today's video, I want to compare the SoFi credit card to the Wells Fargo Active Cash card, which are both 2% flat rate credit cards in hopes to help you guys determine which one is the best option and which one should be in your wallet as your designated 2% card. So first off, let's talk about the SoFi card, which is a no annual fee credit card offered by SoFi, an online personal finance company that offers a variety of financial tools and products. At the time of recording this video, this card is currently offering a $25 sign-up bonus to new card members who sign up for this credit card using someone's referral link. So if you're interested in signing up for this credit card, feel free to use my link down in the description or in the comment section so you can get your free $25 bonus. In addition to that bonus, you'll be able to earn 3% cash back on all your purchases in your first year when you set up direct deposit on your SoFi checking and savings account, which is a two-in-one checking and savings account that currently offers a high APY, no fees, a cashback debit card, benefits, and a $325 sign-up bonus. To learn more about it, feel free to watch this video next. Anyways, the maximum number of points you can earn during the 3% promotional period is 36,000, which is worth $180 to $360, depending on how you redeem your points. That means your total sign-up bonus, including that $25 bonus, could earn you up to $385, which is amazing considering the fact that this credit card has no annual fee. In addition to these bonuses, you'll also earn 2% unlimited cash back on all your purchases when you redeem towards saving, investing, or paying down eligible debt, plus 1% cash back on all other purchases when you redeem towards a statement credit. Now, the rewards you earn with this credit card come in the form of points, where one point equals one cent, so you'll get a one-to-one -one value for your points. For example, 20,000 points would be the same as $200, and so on. But the way you choose to redeem your points will ultimately determine your points' final value. So here's a list of ways to redeem your points and their point values. As you can see on the screen, you can redeem your points for cash deposits into your SoFi checking and savings account, SoFi invest account, or cash applied to a SoFi student, refinance, or personal loan at a one cent per point value. And lastly, you can redeem for a statement credit at 0.5 cents per point, the lowest redemption option and one I do not recommend. Now, as previously stated, this card has no annual fee, no foreign transaction fees, and it's a world elite MasterCard. So it comes with a variety of cool perks, benefits, and exclusive offers. This includes a $5 lift credit per month after three rides, a free shop runner annual membership of $79, a three month DoorDash membership trial plus a $5 discount on two orders per month, 5% cash back on HelloFresh orders and up to 14 free meals. Additionally, you'll benefit from premium experiences, 24 seven concierge services, low hotel rates, luxury hotel and resort benefits, cell phone protection and up to $1,000, MasterCard ID theft protection, zero liability protection, global emergency services, and the list goes on. On top of that, if you make 12 monthly on-time payments of at least the minimum payment, SoFi will lower your credit card's APR by 1% and that reduction may continue if you continue making on-time payments. Plus, you'll be able to manage your entire account right through the SoFi app where you can pay bills, deposit checks, make transfers, send money to friends, monitor your credit score, redeem your points, invest into crypto or stocks, and a lot more. Now, as you can see on the screen, the SoFi credit card tends to give big credit limits. I personally got approved for $9,000 and my partner got approved for $15,000, which was a lot more than we both expected. But I've seen people get approved for as low as $1,000 and as high as $25,000, so it all varies from person to person. All in all, I personally have this credit card and I absolutely love it. I use it as my designated 2% credit card for a lot of my bills, so I believe it's a great choice when your other credit cards fall short in this category. So now that we went over everything that the SoFi credit card offers, let's dive into what the Wells Fargo Active Cash card offers so we can then compare both cards and determine which one is the better option. So for starters, the Wells Fargo Active Cash card is a no annual fee card offered by Wells Fargo, which at the time of recording this video is currently offering a 2 $200 welcome bonus when you spend $1,000 in purchases within the first three months of account opening. Plus zero intro APR for 15 months from account opening on both purchases and qualifying balance transfers. Additionally, the card offers 2% unlimited cash back on all purchases, which can be redeemed in $25 increments for statement credits, cash back as a credit into a Wells Fargo account, gift cards, physical cash in $20 increments at Wells Fargo ATMs, 
or you can use your rewards on travel or to make purchases with participating merchants such as PayPal. This card also offers benefits such as cell phone protection and up to $600 against damage or theft when you use your Wells Fargo credit card to pay for your bill, zero liability protection, which protects you from unauthorized transactions, security features, contactless pay, credit score tracking, and access to the Wells Fargo app where you can manage your account and check out some offers. In addition to that, this card is a Visa signature credit card, so it comes with extra benefits and privileges such as emergency cash disbursement and card replacement, travel and emergency assistance services, roadside dispatch, 24 seven concierge services, plus the Visa luxury hotel collection where you'll get premium benefits when you use your credit card to book through their portal. These benefits include the best available rates, room upgrades upon arrival if available, free Wi-Fi, breakfast for two, a $25 food or beverage credit, and the list goes on. Now, when comparing both cards, when it comes to the sign-up bonus, SoFi wins in my opinion, because it offers $25 plus 3% cash back for a whole year when you set up direct deposit, which is a total potential value of $385. While the Wells Fargo card offers zero intro APR for 15 months on purchases and balance transfers, plus $200 after spending $1,000 in three months, which is only a $200 value. However, their real value will vary depending on whether you're willing to set up direct deposit with your SoFi card to get a higher bonus, or if you'd rather spend $1,000 to get $200 with a Wells Fargo card, and if you want zero intro APR for an upcoming purchase, etc. Rewards wise, both cards offer 2% cash back on all purchases, so it's a tie there. Redemption wise, both cards offer a one on one value for the most part, but the main difference is that SoFi has no redemption requirement while the Active Cash card does. So it's up to you whether you prefer a credit card with or without a redemption requirement. But overall, I have to give this one to SoFi because I prefer accessing my points without restrictions. Benefits wise, both cards offer great ones, so you guys can be the judge of that based on the network and benefits that you personally prefer. My pick would still be with the SoFi credit card because it fits my needs better than the Active Cash card does. And fees wise, both of these cards have no annual fee, but the SoFi credit card has no foreign transaction fees, while the Active Cash card has a 3% foreign transaction fee. So I have to give this one again to the SoFi credit card. Overall, I believe both of these cards serve as great 2% flat rate credit cards and the best option option will come down to personal preference at the end of it all. But in my opinion, the SoFi credit card wins in almost every category. I also use this credit card a lot and have had an amazing experience with it personally. So I would say that the best 2% designated credit card winner is SoFi. Regardless, I want to know how you guys feel about this credit card. So comment down below and let me know. Also, if you're looking for other credit card offers with great signup bonuses, or if you want to earn some extra cash back when shopping online using Rakuten, be sure to check out the links down in the description. Anyways, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hug the like button, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. That way you don't miss out on any future uploads and I'll catch you guys on the next one.